this most spaces. Put up the face again. You can split as you like. I'm just putting the most simplest way. As you okay. And right here, I'll just move this way. See, you can see here there is another node here, so that will create a problem for us. So I will just Again, this time I'll click this node. Okay, 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 I'm done. So I click again on the map and I select this, I select this, I select this. So now just see how it's done. Okay, I'll just change the size of the element. There's one. Right. Now you can see how there has been oriented. And this is with linear, they're almost ideal square or rectangle I could say well I could say I would rather say it's an ideal polygon irrespective of number of si sides talking about well over here the number of elements they are trying to be uniform in all sides so uh, in order to avoid this what you need to do is you just need to go for um, um, mesh control operation you need to select the edge I'll select this edge as well and the number of elements I got up over as three and I'll see how does it work. Okay. And over here I'll say apply. And over here. And this one. Increase the number of elements and I'll see how does it look like. So okay. Let's see. I'll say map. First map these two. And let's see. Okay, now this is how it looks like. But I need to refine it, obvious. So it's, I was just telling you like how you could do it. It basically works on a real time method. And if you're an experienced person, you know um, which is the easiest way of avoiding such circumstances. So I'm not bothered about this at this point of time. So I'll just merge all the phases. And uh, under mesh control, I'll just delete this because I don't need it. I'll merge the phases. This one, this one, this one. Okay, now the face is much. So right now, uh, that was another way of creating the uh, F finite point model um, based upon the requirement. Like if you would only like to use a hex or a try, and under that, if you want to go for a high degree, uh, at that point of time, you can use it and you can control your model very efficiently. Well, in case if you're not bothered. Uh, in case if the client is not asking for uh, such type of um, issue then you can directly click on 2d mesh and um, you can just select the kind of element you would like to use subdivision well just leave it as it is go for um, a one and attempt for a free map meshing that's fine for you and uh, 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 go for a curve because you have a fillet uh, that is a critical and you could see in a lot of elements that will definitely affect a lot um, that will have a lot of warp edges a few of them will have a spoil jacobians okay i'll just say i'll just say boundary notes so that you could see the boundary notes how it how, how does it look like you can see here okay. so you can just guess how uh, how will your elements gonna form i'll just say apply and then let's say it will Definitely take some time to create a shell mesh because we do have an integrated features. Well, in case if you would like to defeature them, you can, but it depends again upon the requirement or uh, uh, or an effective results that you are really seeking for. Okay, and the mesh has been created, and uh, okay, it now indicates elements in a red, violet, Jacobian, or a war. Uh, what app wrap threshold wrap is nothing but is a war page right 
so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now you can see here how it has been developed. Well, it is, an, it is not purely um, quad, it's a mixed. So you don't have to worry about that. So I hope this tutorial has well I believe um, would have helped you a bit because I was struggling hard to understand the commands you have in unit graphics initially. Uh, well it's a good tool to be very honest. Well if you're looking for photography in a big stage, it is a good tool only thing is you need to be very much aware of the commands you need to have a control over the commands that's a big issue with this tool I believe after working with SOLIDWORKS that, and that is uh, quite user friendly and you, you don't have to look for a, a command that can itself tells you what it does that is we have to, uh, I, have to t I have to repeat few things again and again in order to understand so it will take some time. Anyhow, I hope this tutorial will have helped you. Take care, I'll catch you soon. Another tutorial, or else you can always request me any kind of tutorial if you would like to. Well, in solid work answers in your graphics, for your career, anything you like. Do let me know. I'll see what I could do for you. Thank you. Take care.